Growing mango is full of challenges. To be successful as a mango farmer, you should know as much as possible about these challenges. The more you know, the better you will master them. In this short film, we are looking at a disease called bacterial black spot, or just BBS. In 2010, it was first identified in West Africa and is now a major threat for mango growers. It weakens branches and causes fruit drop. If not treated, it can devastate your entire plantation. As soon as it enters your farm, all the fruits will drop and you have nothing at the end of the season. So it means you are going to be is it bankrupt or you are going to lose all the money you spent on the farm. Once the disease breaks out in a certain area, it spreads further and further every year. In this film, you will learn how to stop it. BBS control for mango farmers. The film is divided into four parts. The first part is about identifying BBS. The second part explains how the infection spreads and what you can do to prevent this. In part three, we are looking at manual BBS control. The last part is on chemical control. If you are only interested in a certain topic, just skip directly to this chapter. Identifying BBS. The bacterial black spot disease is named after these marks, which develop on infected fruits. Before the disease spreads on fruits, similar black spots have already developed on leaves. Be careful not to mix up BBS with another disease called antragnos. Both appear similar at early stages, but you can see a difference once you look close enough at the black spots. Here you can see the black spot developed by antragnos. Here is bacterial black spot. There is a yellow halo around the black spot, which is rough, not smooth. Let's compare once again. Antragnos, bacterial black spots or BBS. Apart from the leaves, the disease also shows on branches. Wounds like this appear on young twigs. On older branches, the disease looks like this. Antragnos would not produce anything similar to these symptoms. On the leaves, you notice holes as well as you find in antragnos. But with BBS, the holes around it has some yellow wish hollow around them. And then at times too, you see the leaves crumbling. And then there is another uh, thing we can call canker, and it uses that place as its hotel. hotel. Then you see later some, uh, is it water or substance oozing from that place. Sources of infection. BBS is a bacterial disease. It often comes from infected seedlings. The bacteria is highly specific to mango. It cannot affect other crops, nor use them as sources of infection. BBS spreads in the orchard when it is wet and stormy. Risk of infection is highest at beginning and end of rainy season. BBS bacteria uses damage points caused by storms to enter your trees. Strong winds disperse the disease. It spreads 100 to 200 meters each year. This way, BBS can move from a neighboring plantation to yours. It is not enough to control it on your own farm. As long as the disease remains in your area, it will come back to you. Your only chance to get rid of BBS is to work together with all your neighbors. You should join hands and agree on a coordinated control plan. Let's take this to be farm A. 
for a ja mensa and this farm B which is my farm and we have trees here this representing my mango trees and this is Mr. A's farm with the mango trees there. I'm doing my best to eliminate BBS from our farm. So I will do vigorous spraying, pruning and clearing all in the farm. Now, if I, I, I treated mine, but this, my colleagues fails to treat uh, his farm, there will be, as a result of the wind, his, the disease which is in his farm will be transported to my farm. So the best thing is to assist my friend or come together, educate him so that you also use the same, you all also try to treat his farm. Again, one thing I can do also is to plant wind bricks, some trees here. You can plant some trees on the windward side of your farm. At these strategic points, they serve as a shield against infection. When I started my mango farm, I decided to plant this oil palm as a wind brick. But uh, when it started fruiting, I also started harvesting. And I saw that the wind were passing, the wind were, uh, was passing through, and that the purpose it should have served, it is not serving anymore. This is acacia. It grows fast and dense, and uh, it protects my mangoes from heavy winds. The acacia tree is one good option for a wind break. Once it grows up, it develops a dense structure which slows down the speed of wind. This reduces damage caused by storms and also possibilities of BBS to spread on your field. Often BBS is introduced to an orchard via infected seedlings brought in from nurseries. Infested scions or seeds are a great problem. If you get new trees from a nursery, make sure the place is free of BBS. It is also advisable to find out where the owner of the nursery has harvested the scion. So I normally collect my scion from the scion bank. Uh -huh. And even after collecting it from the scion bank, before I will graft it, I have to soak it in the fungicide for about 30 minutes before I start the grafting. So due to that, I don't have any I mean, problem on disease. Try to get as much information as possible. Make sure not to import the disease to a healthy area right from the beginning. Another opportunity for BBS to spread is immediately after harvest. Diseased fruits and leaves might end up in your transport vehicle. Your truck now becomes a fast-moving threat to healthy areas along the way. Be very careful with infested fruits. The disease spreads easily, but it's hard to get rid of. The greatest source of infection, however, is disease wood in your own farm. The disease hides in cankers like this one. Once infected, the canker and all other disease wood serve as sources of further infection. Your greatest weapon against BBS is to thoroughly remove all this material. Manual control. To control the disease, first you should get a clear picture which parts of your farm are infected. Inspect your orchard at least once a month in dry season. In rainy season, you have to intensify your scouting. During harvesting and pruning, you or your workers are already in close contact with your trees. Make sure to use this opportunity to inspect the upper canopy. Remove all infected material immediately. Disease treatment is about protecting flowers first and fruits second. During and just after flowering are crucial periods for BBS control. Removing infected wood at this time 
will greatly reduce the chances of infection. After removal, you should burn the infected material. Don't let any disease wood lay around on your farm. The infection spreads from cut-off material, just like from leaves and branches still on the tree. Any infected material is a source of further spreading of DBS. You should get rid of it rigorously and as soon as possible. Apart from the wood, you also have to get rid of infected fruits. Check on immature fruits for early signs of infection. Destroy infected fruits just like the other material. As mentioned before, BBS uses cankers like this one to hide. They are usually found on older branches. Check your trees carefully for these deformations. Remove branches and destroy them. BBS control is hard work. But if you manage to remove all infected wood from your orchard in one season, you will experience a great relief in the next season. As much as it is important to remove all sources of infection, there is a time when you need to stop working. Never work in the orchard when it is raining or the canopy is still wet. If you rest on rainy days, you don't do this for your own comfort, but in the best interest of your trees. Since BBS spreads well under wet conditions, you could accidentally help the disease to spread. If you work in the rain, you might do more harm than good. But it is not only in the rain that you run danger to actively spread the disease. The BBS bacteria can get onto your working tools even on dry days. After working in infected areas, you should always disinfect your tools. You can use methylated spirits or strong alcohol for the disinfection. Chemical control. Spraying fungicides is an additional protection against BBS, but chemicals alone cannot solve your problems. Fungicide control only works alongside manual control. You need to remove all infected material. This is the major priority. Without it, your investment in chemicals is a waste of money. There are two different types of fungicides, contact and systemic. Contact fungicides are often copper-based. They stay on the surface of your tree and protect it only at parts where covered with spray. Rain can wash them off. The other type is systemic fungicide. It enters inside your tree and distributes into its different parts, trunk, branches and leaves. But also means the fungicides enter into your fruits. Only copper-based fungicides have any impact on the spread of BBS. They can prevent new infection. Systemic fungicides do not stop BBS from further spreading. Your specific spraying schedule depends on the kind of fungicides you use, so read the instruction on your products carefully. To find out what dosage is needed for your specific purpose, it is best you consult with fellow farmers or any other knowledgeable person close to you. Usually, you treat BBS in addition to fungal diseases like anthragnose. For the time from first flashes to after flowering, you keep up your usual spraying routine, just as you do to control anthragnose. But after your trees have lost their flowers, you need to intensify spraying if bacterial black spot is present. Here we can just show you a general spraying routine against anthragnose and BBS. When first flashes appear, use copper. Shortly before flowering, take a systemic. During flowering, you should not apply any fungicide at all, otherwise you damage the flower. After flowering, apply a copper spray. From this time on, you continue to spray in two to three weeks intervals. You start with a copper fungicide and two weeks later, 
you use a systemic spray, then copper, and then systemic again. And from now on, you continue to apply different types of copper-based fungicides in three weeks intervals. Stop spraying three weeks before harvest. So under this spray regime, you would apply one copper and one systemic spray before flowering and up to five copper and two systemic sprays after flowering. Don't use more than three systemic sprays in a year. Rotate different kind of contact and different kind of systemic fungicides. It is important that each type contains different active ingredients. You can get the active ingredient from the label on the product. If you keep applying the same active ingredient, the disease will develop resistance against it. Once this happens, the fungicide has only little effect and again, you are wasting your money. Be aware of rain when you plan your spraying activities. Rain washes down the chemicals and you have to repeat the treatment. Conclusion Let us recap the most important information from this video. First, BBS uses stormy wet weather to move, so be especially alert in these times of the year. Dense trees planted on the windward side of your orchard prevent the BBS bacteria to enter your farm. Second, you can recognize the disease by these symptoms on branches, leaves and fruits. Remember the difference between anthracnose and BBS. Third, there are basically three steps involved in your control routine. First step, inspect your orchards regularly. Second step, remove all infected material. Third step, spray copper-based fungicides regularly. Removing all infected material is your key tax. Train your workers so they know what to look for. Only copper-based fungicides have any impact on the spread of BBS. They can prevent new infection. Systemic fungicides do not stop BBS from further spreading. Last but not least, BBS is a disease you can't fight alone. Join hands with farmers around. Find out where the disease is present and where it is originating from. Work together and jointly confront the disease from all sides. It will save time and work for everyone. If you follow all these instructions, you will defeat BBS. A disease-free plantation means more and better fruits every year which will also result in less stress and higher income for you. Thank you for watching. In the description of this film, you will find a link to download a fact sheet with all information mentioned here. Goodbye and good luck with your mangoes. <laughs>